want to thank every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer because you guys paid for all of this. The goal of Amazon is to get as much productivity out of us for as little compensation as possible. Things are not good here on Earth, specifically right now. The very richest people in this country are becoming phenomenally richer. In fact, one of them has been out in out of space today, I guess. That's what he does with his billions. Zero dollars in federal tax for Bezos in 2011, yeah. 2007. Take a look at this. $220 million of taxpayer money built Richard Branson's spaceport in New Mexico. While ordinary Americans are struggling to put food on the table, send their kids to college. I have no money for rent. If we get kicked out of our house, where are we gonna go? Isn't everything you thought Fantastic. it would be? This was your dream. We now have documents that reporters have uncovered showing that Amazon is in fact aware of drivers peeing in bottles. The way that we work is meant to mentally break you down. Jeff Bezos amidst this has gotten richer than ever, his total wealth growing over $90 billion during the pandemic. According to a new report from the National Housing Coalition, there is no state, county, or city in the United States where you can work 40 hours a week at minimum wage and afford a modest two-bedroom at fair market rent. Has there ever been a night where you're lying in bed worried about where the next meal is going to come from? Yes, I do. The wealthy and large corporations are going to have to start paying their fair share of taxes. Taxing business, including corporations, discourages economic activity. Congress is debating an increase in the corporate tax rate. Rich people and corporations, is it true they don't pay their fair share? This has brought out all the tired old mantras about how corporate tax hikes are bad for workers and the economy. This will lead to slowing down of the economy. This is going to be discouraging economic activity nationwide. These people hope that Americans have forgotten what corporations did with their tax windfalls after the Republican tax law in 2017. That law slashed the corporate tax rate from 35 to 21 percent, a huge giveaway that's cost us hundreds of billions of dollars in lost revenue. When corporate leaders were lobbying for those tax cuts, they promised to use the savings for big worker bonuses and new hiring. AT&T CEO Randall Stevenson, for example, promised to create thousands of new high-paying U.S. jobs. Lower taxes drives more investment, drives more hiring, drives greater wages. So what really happened after the tax cuts? AT&T got a $42 billion tax windfall, paid their CEO $30 million, and then laid off tens of thousands of workers. And AT&T wasn't alone. Average CEO pay jumped 25% between 2016 and 2019, while overall U.S. employment grew more slowly than during Obama's last term. Companies also blew more than a trillion dollars on stock buybacks that further enriched CEOs and wealthy shareholders. Now they're concerned about people getting, you know, too rich or something. I don't, I don't get this. I don't get any of this. Tax scammers shouldn't even try to fool us twice. A fair tax agenda that raises revenue from the wealthy and big corporations would be good for workers and the economy. All of their life savings is going to be damaged by Biden's tax increases on the corporate income tax. Instead of lining the pockets of CEOs, Let's invest in clean energy jobs and health and education programs that will make us all stronger.